I'm a lesbian with over 400,000 followers across platforms. And if I had to start over tomorrow, here are two things that I would not do. The first thing I wouldn't do is shrink myself and who I am and my pride into one content pillar. I would have made being gay my entire personality trait without fear. I would have made my faith my entire personality trait without fear. I wouldn't have tried to make my hair smaller when I got on camera. I would have been the biggest freaking lesbo that I could ever be from day one. Because the bigger you are online about who you really are, the easier it is to create content because you're not coming from an inauthentic place. It's super easy, it just flows from you. You don't have to wear a mask. And the bigger you are, it allows your personality to be bigger, people to see that content, it get out there and it spread faster because you're just more interesting to watch when you're actually yourself. Okay, two, I would talk about what I do. What I do. I would not be afraid to say, oh yeah, and this is the service I have. I would not be making videos just for entertainment. I would have copy, which is the written words under your post, selling in every single post in some way, shape, or form. I would not be afraid to sell something. For years, I literally didn't make any money online. Well, less than $2,000 a month, which is feels like no money to me because now I'm making fifteen dollars to $50,000 a month. I would not be shy to sell. Now, if you're shy to sell online, it's okay, it's normal, but don't stay that way because I don't wanna see you making less money than you're capable of making. So be proud of who you are, be proud to sell, especially if you are a service provider who has integrity behind what you do, you should be so happy to share your service. So don't be shy, sell. Be the biggest you and sell. That is what I would change and I wish I would have changed it five years ago because holy shit, I'd have like, even after living expenses, I'd have like 1.5 million sitting in the bank minimum if I would have just changed those things, maybe more than that. It's ridiculous. I left a lot of money on the table by not doing this. Don't make the same mistake.